welcome back to the Home Shopper Show. Today, we are taking a drive through Cape Town and we wanted to take some time to reflect about what makes the mother city so incredible. Not only from a suburb perspective, but what living here means to somebody, what somebody who might want to move down here can expect and what areas should they be looking at. I decided let me start off with my favorite area in Cape Town and that is the Waterkant right there by the V&A waterfront walking distance from it exactly and just there bordering City Bowl full of trendy restaurants, bars, it's so close to everything you might need, I love it, it has such a cool vibe and then as I mentioned it does border City Bowl. City Bowl, what we are looking into right now as I take this twisty road past Lions Head. And we all know what you're getting into in City Bowl. Beautiful buildings, tons and tons of high rises, most of them with their own gym facilities, pools, and the, the rest. And oh so close to both Sea Point and Green Point, which I think we'll talk about when we arrive there. Now yeah, we are going through City Bowl and City Bowl is a perfect place for people who like to be close to the action. You've got pumping nightclubs and bars, you've got plenty of trendy restaurants on every single corner. There's such a vibe in City Bowl, absolutely love it. Traffic as well, as you can see, even on a day like that, but it's a bustling cosmopolitan mix of things to do. Now let's talk about some of the cool things or the many cool things to do when living in Cape Town. So the weather is definitely not the best guys, trust me Cape Town looks so much better than this. But I guess even when it's this cloudy, it's still an incredible place to be. We've got the mountain tops peeking out through the clouds, really giving you such a nice vibe. But we've got Table Mountain, we've got the Cableway obviously, we've got Lion's Head and Signal Hill. So if you're into fitness, that's exactly where you're going to be spending most of your time. And because the city is so beautiful, you'll have tons of company when doing this. I think it's probably one of the cities where it's so easy to make friends or find people with the same habits that you have because so many people are doing it. The promenade there by Sea Point and Green Point, every single Saturday and Sunday, it is packed with joggers and fitness enthusiasts. There is also a um, outdoor gym right there that so many people make use of. It's a really cool place to be. Then for the foodies among us, this city without a doubt has the most and the most varied restaurants you'll ever find in South Africa. No matter what you want, there's a restaurant here that will cater for you. If you like drinking, if you like going out on the weekends, again, I don't think there's another city that can compare. I think Joburg comes close, but as somebody who lives in Joburg, I don't think it gets quite as good as Cape Town. Plenty of bars, so many that are different and have a niche. If we take a look at some, some restaurants, for instance, there's Duchess, that is incredible and they have such a cool way of making you remember the restaurant. So I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't went, go, trust me, will not regret it. And there's so many bars that follow suit that do incorporate unique bits that make them so memorable and make people come back. 
Then, the ocean. I mean, can you mention Cape Town without mentioning the ocean? Kite surfers, you've got Bloberg. I mean, that must be the kite surfing capital of the world. Um, it is quite a sight when you go there and there are hundreds of kites in the sky. Then surfing, diving, Cape Town's exactly where it's going to be happening. You've got the beaches. There's so much to do here that you're never bored. I love coming down to Cape Town. I make it a mission to come down as often as possible and I love it, even when the weather looks like this. Here we are, coming through Greenpoint, which is Seapoint's more upmarket neighborhood. Again, you've got your beachfront and this is also where Cape Town Stadium is located. It's also close to the stunning beaches of the Atlantic seaboard. And now we come to Clifton and Camps Bay. These sister neighborhoods are largely made up of the flashiest houses and incredible sea views. Celebrities are everywhere, but don't let that put you off. This neighborhood is also quiet as well as comfortable with access to the beach, beautiful beach as well. Although the water is quite cold this side of the mountain, that beachfront has plenty of trendy restaurants as well as bars. Then let's come to Constantia, a beautiful green leafy suburb, plenty of hotels around. If you're into wine, this is the area for you. It's also an area that looks absolutely incredible with the mountains at the background. I mean, we were there when it was quite overcast and rainy and the views were breathtaking. Now, would we be able to talk about Cape Town without mentioning Bloberg and that picturesque postcard-like view of Table Mountain across the bay? Guys, this is surfer's paradise, specifically a kite surfer. And it's an up-and-coming neighborhood with plenty of very, very good investment opportunities. This is going to be the place where those dividends really do pay out in the future. Now, if you're looking to live in Cape Town and be close to Cape Town without having to have the hustle and bustle and the traffic of Cape Town itself, this is the area you should be looking for. Now, let's talk about Stellenbosch, or more specifically, where we shot the home in De Zalza Golf Estate. Stellenbosch is a university town, absolutely picturesque in feeling. It's really so nice and peaceful to be there. The town's got oak shaded streets. They are all lined with cafes, boutiques, art galleries. Vineyards are everywhere, as well as the mountainous nature reserves of Yonkers Hook and Simonsburg. And the architecture is to die for as well. Now let's talk about Valdivie. This estate was located in Paul, and Paul is the third oldest city in South Africa. Now, the area is known for its haunting scenic beauty, and this comes through so well on that video. It's got a deep viticulture and fruit growing heritage, and it's also located 60 kilometers outside of Cape Town. So again, if you're not looking for the lifestyle of living in Cape Town city center, these are the areas for you. Areas that are safe, secure, and absolutely beautiful. Oh, 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 oh,